Have you ever wondered whether or not it's worth trying to respray your old mountain bike components to give them a new lease of life? Well, wonder no more, because today I'm going to take this old set of handlebars and I'm going to try and make them new again by respraying them. We need to know whether A, it's possible, B, it's easy, and C, is it worth it? I'm going to try and do it as cheap as possible because that's the kind of guy I am. First things first, we need to get ourselves some paint. Now, I can't be going around buying professional paint things. I know where I can go. <laughs> Got it. What have I bought? I've bought some masking tape. This was 56p or something. Each one of these was £1.99, pretty much breaking the budget. What I've got is I've got some primer, I've got some black, and clear lacquer. Oh, there's one other thing that I need to get. In fact, two other things that I need to get, which I already had. One second. Right, 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 right. The other things that I've got is I've got some sandpaper. This is 240 grit. I've also got this. Metallic gold, because what says new bike more than gold? Wait, right, where's the top? Where's the top? I wonder if one of these will fit on. Oh, 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 oh! Ha ha ha! Never having the right tool hasn't stopped me in the past, and it won't stop me today. Nice try, gold paint. Let's get sanding. Out of the way, paint. I'm assuming all I need to do is start sanding. Oh, it's coming off! Ordinarily, I would not be doing this on the dining room table. However, my girlfriend is away and it's raining outside, so... We're outside now. I've come to a pretty sheltered area of the garden because it's pretty windy. And, um, yeah, let's get priming. Do not shake the can in an up and down motion. For best results, shake the can from side to side in a whisking motion for two minutes before spraying it. A whisking motion. Let's go. Well, that tastes good. I don't want to have to spray my hands. Oh, Peter, you're an absolute genius. Just wait for that to dry for a bit, I suppose. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cutting out some stencils so that I can put some gold paint in various places on the bar. The idea is, take a bit of masking tape, draw my design on it, then cut it out with one of these. Then, take another piece of masking tape, put it over the top of it so it keeps it all together, apply that to the handlebars, then take the top piece of tape off, and then I should be able to spray through it, or at least that is the idea. Let's see whether it works. Come in closer. So there we have it. Session for Session Media. Take a piece of tape. Put it on top, hopefully. Right, well that didn't work. It's not exactly what I wanted, because basically, quite a lot of it stuck down to the table still. I may have to redo this. That didn't work as well as I hoped. You know what, I'm just gonna do it again. Right, so, I don't know if you can see that, maybe. And that, is what it should look like, but in gold. Glorious, glorious gold, so I'm gonna put that there. Now it's time to sand down the primed handlebars and start applying some black. I've come outside because I didn't want to get the table dirty again. Also, almost 100% sure that this isn't dry. Oh my God, this is it stuck. Oh. It worked. So you know how earlier I said we were going to try and do it as cheaply as possible? Well, I think if you buy really, really cheap paint, sometimes, yeah, the lid didn't work on it. Ready?
This is probably how professionals do it. Just sacrifice one finger. Just be known forever as old paint fingers. Oh, it looks brand new. I think this needs to go next to the fire to dry out a little bit. And then maybe another coat. And then the gold. Gold! The black paint is almost completely dry now and you can see it's actually left quite a nice finish even before we put on the clear coat. So now it's time to take our logo and find where we're going to put it on the bars. Almost 100% sure I've done that horribly. Hmm. Not bad. You know what, I actually think that looks pretty cool. So what I need to do now is mask off the areas that I want to stay black with some more tape. That all looks quite neat. I need to find a top for this and then spray that up. And then we should be ready for the clear lacquer. Ready to paint. Right, it's the next day and the paint should have fully dried, at least I hope so. What I did was I cleverly made this thing to hold these things while they dry. All it is is a piece of wood with another bit of wood sort of smacked into it. Very clever. So now I need to start taking off the masking tape and see whether or not this gold paint has bled through onto the black. I really hope it hasn't. Let's get these big pieces off first. We've got most of the masking tape off. What I'm going to do is I've got some hot water here and I'm just going to try and start cleaning this with, well, it's a sock because I couldn't find any other rags. I'm going to start just on one end because then if I just rub off one letter, it won't be so bad. I'm going to start on the exclamation mark because if I lose the exclamation mark, it still says send it, whereas if I lose an S, it says end it. It's quite a different message and it's not necessarily one I want to endorse. Maybe I need soapy water. Let's go soapy water. Let's add a smidge of this. Just give it a quick mix. Oh, it's working a treat. Either that or it's just shiny because it's wet. What is this tape made out of? Maybe a sock wasn't the best thing to use. I've gone from a massive high seeing the gold lettering to a, a really low, low bloody tape. Should I sand it? Let's see what I've got in here. Good. Ooh! That just says P on the back. 1,200. So, if you're still watching at home, which in fairness, you may not be anymore because it has got a little dry. Right, 240 was too much. I have gone through the paint. Which is why I started in a place where it will be covered by the grip. Luckily, you know what? This isn't going to be interesting. I'm going to stop there and I'll come back when I've finished. I've tried rubbing it, I've tried wire wool, I've tried sandpaper, boiling water just started melting the paint. The best thing to do was like rub it off with my thumb. That didn't really work either. That just gave me a sore thumb. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the worst bits, i.e. this, with a nice big grip. I'm going to make sure some of the shit is on the back and I'm going to just spray it with a clear coat and make it look nice and shiny. Here it is, the finished handlebars. As you can see, I have cleverly hidden all the worst parts with these signature Greg Minar grips. I actually think it doesn't look too bad. I have to admit, there are some elements of it which I'm disappointed with. For example, here you can see where I got a bit overzealous with my sanding or maybe a bit impatient with letting things dry, but generally it looks good. If I'm honest, the best place to view this from is from a distance. However, the questions I wanted to answer as part of this project were, is it possible, is it easy, and is it worth doing? Possible, yes. Easy, no. But then that might just be because I'm incredibly impatient and didn't really know what I was doing. I think if I was to do this again, I would sand it more thoroughly. I would definitely 
definitely wait for the paint to dry in between each go. I think I get a bit better at applying the sort of sticker element to it, and I don't think I'd use masking tape all over it. I'd just put a little bit around there and then just cover the rest in paper. The big question though was, is it worth it? To be honest, yes, I think it is. I think if you've got some old handlebars, old cranks, anything really where you think there's nothing wrong with it physically, but it could do with a bit of sprucing up, go for it, paint it. It cost me about £6.50 to do this. If I was to buy a new set of handlebars, I'd probably be looking at about sort of £60, £70. And also, they're custom. How much do people pay for custom bike parts? It's ridiculous. I can't wait to get it on my bike now. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you want to see anything specific, then make sure to put it in the comments below. Um, at some point in the future, I'm going to compare my painting to the professional paint job, which is being done on my bike at the moment, which should be quite cool. Um, in the meantime, why don't you go and watch one of my other biking videos up here. And um, yeah, until next time, see you soon.